Welcome back to Two All Dogs and Beyond. Today we are at Spotted Fox Ale House in Carpersville, Illinois. Continue watching to see what we get. The buffalo chicken dip is not an option I usually see on starters at any restaurants. I do usually make it at home because I do make a pretty darn good one. But this one beats mine out of the park. As you can see, there are um, it's herb cream cheese with breaded buffalo chicken pieces actually inside, blended cheeses, pico de gallo, and the amount of chips that they give you is so much. So. Don't be worried about saving any chips for the end. It was really such a good, um, good chicken dip. I could I could see coming back and only ordering the chicken dip with some nice cold beers with some of my friends. So you need to check it out. The house chips were really good, and I forgot there was even onion. What? I, I felt that they gave a good portion of them. And the dip, the chicken dip, the buffalo chicken dip, was good with the uh, house chips uh, more than the regular tortilla chips. I really enjoyed both of them though. So about four to five years ago I fell in love with Allagash White. Um, I found it on draft in a place in the city so every time I was in town or in the city I did have to order Allagash and now it's become more of a popular choice out in the Northwest Burbs and um, I just love Allagash and the brewery actually in Portland, Maine because it's one of our favorite places to visit. Great people and we've been back two times and it actually just reminds me of uh, Maine, of Portland, Maine. So I have to order Allagash and I'm so happy that they had it on their menu. So I decided to order the buffalo chicken wrap for my lunch, um, but because we had chicken dip for the appetizer, I asked if I could substitute the sauce. So I actually used the, um, their barbecue sauce, their stout barbecue sauce, which sounded really good. So I did the uh, crispy chicken with the stout barbecue and some cheese and a wrap. Um, the wrap was a little bit on the small side, but that's probably my fault because I don't get lettuce, tomato and stuff like that. So it, it did come out a little bit smaller. It actually was quite full of chicken and um, it was filling for me. So uh, I enjoyed the, the wrap a lot. I did order just their regular fries um, as my side, which were really good. You can see them right here. Ooh. <laughs> um, so overall, my lunch was really good. I would probably order that again. Today I did get the lunch special and it did come with a half sandwich, fries, and a choice of soup. And I did get the Southwest beer cheese, and it was so good. Everybody at the table tried it. So I, um, I ended up putting uh, french fries in the soup because it was such a good um, consistency to actually dip the waffle fries in. I am a huge fan of waffle fries, and these are a little bit different. They're cut a little bit thinner, and I actually liked them a little bit better and then I got the BLT and it's great it's a traditional BLT nothing really special about it but I do love BLT so it wasn't a lighter lunch it was a very filling and full and great flavors but it was next next time I don't have to order so much but I actually enjoyed this BLT and waffle fry option I ordered the traditional teriyaki wings off of the appetizer menu I usually don't order wings off of the menu when I go places. I usually pick like burgers or like sandwiches or pizza, but these were probably one of the best wings I have ever had. I got the chicken alfredo flatbread. It came with a lot of chicken. It was super cheesy and the alfredo sauce was really good. 
huge shout out to Laura for having us in today. So welcoming. She visited very often just to check and she made some great recommendations. So I, I loved everything we tried and, and the soup was great, but I think the thing that definitely hit the spot was that buffalo chicken dip and it started out as her recommendation and then our waitress uh, Nicole she was so attentive to us so my kids could definitely drink their soda and Nicole kept up with them and I appreciate that and beyond that uh, the refills they kept on flowing everything was just perfect she was super friendly so huge shout out to our server Nicole and Laura um, they were so welcoming and we will definitely be back because their recommendations definitely um, hit home and I will definitely come back to try those again and that wraps it up for another two Algonquin and beyond video in Spotted Fox in Carpentersville Illinois be sure to subscribe comment down below and smash that like button we'll see you in the next video I just dipped it right in the soup and then everybody everybody followed soup. Soup. Followed soup. <laughs> soup.